Okay, so determine the density, give a mass and volume. We give this information mass 67.8. So Hannah, are we doing mass and difference in this question or do we already have the mass? Or have the mass, okay? Alright. Uh, volume of the beaker before, 25.2. Volume in the beaker and the metal, 42.3. I suggest when you see, find the density, I want to see this. Step one, I want you to write your formula on your paper. If you're going to have it on a photo, I'm telling you right now, I will not take your paper if you don't do these steps. Okay? Lesson one. All right? The second step in this problem, which is on the note taking sheets, I need to determine or define my variables down the side of the page. So my density in this question is the what? Unknown. Density and density value in the entire question, so it's obviously the unknown. So then I must give you what two other variables? Mass and volume. I'll give you an easy mass, so let's go ahead and tell you, hey, here's the mass. There's the mass, okay? However, the volume, what technique are we using? Right, this place. Good. So I, I have 42.3 in the back back there. I have 42.3 in the beaker after everything was in there. What did I have first in the bottom? 67.3. No, that's max. See, it's max. Look at the volume of the beaker. 25. 25.2 is what we had in there. Empty. Then when I add them together, it's 42.3. So what are we going to do back there? What are we going to do with those two numbers? Subtract. Difference. That's right. Difference. Volume displacement. So I want to subtract 25.2. Uh, and I'm going to get, what is that? 19? 17. 17. 17. what? 1. 17.1, yeah. Milliliters. Now I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in. Density is my unknown. 25.2 grams divided by. Ah, no, get that. Sorry, that would be 67.8 divided by 17.1 grams per milliliter. Does anybody have that? 3.96. Huh? 3.96. 3.96. Grams per milliliter. Top one, find the density. Find the density. 